In this lecture, we would talk about how to interpret the results of process capability analysis and how to narrow down to improvement strategies based on that. Just to refresh, we are now talking about the same scenario for which we had done the process capability analysis. We have 30 data points, we had a subgroup size of 2 and we had a process pick of 44.8 and 45.2. The result of the process capability analysis looked like this. Before we start analyzing this, let us understand what analysis we need to perform. 